So welcome back. I thought we'd talk a little bit about what crystals are best to use for if you're trying to raise your vibration, specifically if you're raising or balancing out your sacral chakra. We talked a little bit about why the sacral chakra is just so important, what it can do for you, what how it can change your life. And um, I'm gonna be sharing the stones that I use on a daily basis, like literally on a daily basis. This is a part of my um, morning meditation and my morning routine. And I do this daily, not really Really because i want to it's just because when i notice that i do it um things just like go so smoothly like i'm actually able to hit my goals um i notice things manifest quicker and it's like when i don't do these things it's like all of a sudden i start running into blockages and things slow down and it's just it's really weird so yes it is kind of i don't want to say it's annoying but you kind of have to like put out time to get this done every single day um, but it is definitely very very helpful and so one of the meditations that i do um i use citrine in particular to help with um i actually lay it on my sacral chakra and um, i use it to balance it out and basically direct energy towards that area so that everything can go smoothly <laughs> like i mean it's to me like this is the easiest way to do a meditation with it um you know for others there are definitely other things that you can do to balance it out and to keep everything working smoothly but for me this is just the quickest way for me and even though i have to make sure that i have the time to do this um it's worth it so if you're using citrine citrine to me for the sacral chakra is like one of the best stones you can use for it even though there are multiple so we'll go through all of the different stones that you can use for your sacral chakra but basically it just balances your sac sacral chakra and it can be used for your solar plexus so either or um, it is a stone of manifestation so it just attracts the situations whatever you desire um, it will like raise your vibration to like more of a joyful mindset citrine is more of like a very happy stone i mean it just it's that energy of the sun it's really beautiful um it's also really good for new beginnings and anything where you just need high energy because it just it has a lot of joy and our sacral chakra it's all about joy um, happiness passion and so like this definitely is the stone for that um it also boosts your confidence it'll help you with feeling motivated some of this is more related to your solar plexus but obviously if you use it in the way for your sacral it you'll also get these too um it helps you with staying positive and your creativity um anytime you balance out your sacral chakra you'll you'll notice that like those creative juices will just be flowing you'll be like um literally in a flow state um you might have you'll approach issues that you have that you've probably had for a while all of a sudden like within from a new perspective like just new ideas on this same old thing that you could have been stuck on like the changes are so noticeable um and once you figure out like a routine whatever routine is easiest for you for balancing out these chakras you'll notice the difference of when you stop doing this and it'll probably you'll be like me where it's like do i have the time to do this no but i'm gonna make the time because my life is just so much easier when i do um so it really helps you just have a love for life and helps you just go with the flow like literally you're going to be in a flow state um and this is all coming back to using citrine um so yeah, if you just want more happiness, vitality, I mean, when we talk about like the physical um, things that this could help with, like obviously if you're having issues, go see a doctor, but um, I guess I will mention um, it is related to your kidneys, your urinary tract, and your digestive system, um, but usually just balancing out or... Um, yeah, raising the vibration of your sacral chakra in general will help you with those issues um so i mean i guess we can attribute it all to the citrine but normally if you have a balanced sacral you're not going to have those issues be as prominent but obviously i mean sometimes the best medicine is just going to see a professional a doctor um i mean i believe in healing but you know for this isn't going to be for everyone um, you know, you could have like a very serious issue that, you know, the quicker you have someone help you with it, um, you know, through modern medicine, the better, but just know, usually this will help you with those issues. Also, I want to say, um, carn carnelian, <laughs> uh, citrine is known as a money and luck 
stone like this is one of like those wealth stones so if you're doing anything surrounding your job your career uh, maybe starting a new business then this is like this is one of the best stones for it um, so moving on to carnelian um, carnelian is also used as a sacral chakra stone um, this is like a high energy stone do not use this if you do not want to feel just stimulated um, i've also noticed sometimes it'll um, i don't know if it's a side effect of just having more energy that i'm spending more energy that i feel like i need to eat more but i think carnelian is also used for those who need to eat a little bit more to get you more on like a healthy diet um <laughs> i don't know i've just noticed noticed this like within myself but this like orangish red stone is going to help you with your confidence your joy positive energy um prosperity success um it, it's one of those stones it's like a go-getter stone like if you need motivation to do something usually if you need motivation you, you've noticed that like you've like fallen like into like i don't know a slump where you're just like you don't really doing anything but you're kind of lazy like this is that stone that will like help you get up off the couch and just do it which is funny because it's also like if you look at the describing words like one of them is endurance this is giving you energy and endurance to just go do it um i've also heard that it reduces fear anger and resentment um i don't know i've never used it in that way so it is one of those warm energizing type energy stones um it is huge for physical exercise it can help you in your decision making and then of course just allowing you to just enjoy life more so if we go way 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 back like in ancient times carnelian was used as like a fertility stone um i haven't used it for that <laughs> but basically it like supported women during like pregnancy and menstruating and trying to conceive um so just fyi if that's something you're worried about but again coming back to balancing out your sacral chakra if you balance that it's going to be easier for you to do those things in general so it's like so which came first the chicken or the egg because it's like you need one and you can't have one without the other so i guess these stones are just aiding in it i don't want to give all the credit to the stones because at the same time it's just like balancing that area out in general is going to make you able to do these things so the next is gold stone i've never used gold stone personally but of the research that i found it is more of like a grounding stone um it's funny that it's called gold stone but it's like really more of like a reddish color and like has like little sparkles in it um so this is really help helpful for just um you know helping you ground your energy bring you back down to earth um it is one of those stones of like ambition and like your life purpose usually that's more related to the solar plexus but apparently you can also use this for your sacral chakra as well um also it is more of like a man-made stone so it's like glass and copper so it's just a combination of things that helps you with like your inner light also people believe that it reflects and repels negative energy and it calms any high emotions again i haven't used this stone but it is highly recommended um if you have the stone laying around or if it's easier to get than maybe one of the other stones um, you can use this for your sacral chakra the next is leopard skin jasper so this one is another fertility and pregnancy support it benefits all the sexual organs like uh, it helps you with uh, stimulating um, like your circulation it helps you with digesting things with your kidneys um, this is another stone that will help you um, just ground yourself as well but it's going to help you with your pleasure your personal growth and your desire so this is more of like your sexy time stone <laughs> you are going to get a boost in creativity and imagination but like i said balancing out your the sacral chakra in general is going to help you with all of those things um it also helps you like if you're trying to improve your financial situation so it is also a money stone most jasper are wealth oriented stones another one that i really like is pyrite so this is another wealth stone it's a good luck stone it's a good fortune stone so i like talking about the sacral chakra not just because it's one of the most important chakras for a woman to have balance but also because once it is balanced you'll notice um it's easier like for you to bring in like steady income um and just everything just seems to happen and fall into place for you so while there are other chakras that you can balance out to help you with um, accumulating wealth or savings like the sacral chakra it kind of can do that and then some <laughs> so i know like i don't like going out of order because it is the second chakra so technically we should have started like with the first but it is one of those things that can help you with wealth and so if you're using pyrite with that and you know money is on your mind then 
it's that's a great stone for it also it can help you with um, taking action on things so this is another one of those stones that you'll just be ready to just jump into it kind of like carnelian it'll like stimulate you to just get going pyrite is also a protective stone so if you feel like um you need to protect yourself against like emotional attacks so not necessarily physical but people who are maybe emotionally draining to you you can use pyrite to help that um, also, it might help you with um, boosting your independence and your vitality, but if you think about it, if your money is right, you probably have no issue with being independent. Um, so pyrite and citrine, really, they're really great stones for money, wealth, as well as like, you know, balancing out your sacral chakra. So this is one of my favorite stones, Tiger's Eye. I absolutely love this. This used to be a daily stone for me. like. For many years this was a daily stone um it doesn't only help just for your sacral chakra you can also use this for your solar plexus so this tiger's eye is basically something that's going to help you feel confident like courageous and it's going to balance you out so if you are going through something i think this is the best stone for helping you just think of things in a logical and a rational mindset and it'll help you with making those like difficult decisions um i like it because i noticed that when i started wearing it like opportunities and doors just started opening up all of a sudden i was like more adventurous but i had like the opportunity to go do things that normally i would not usually been able to if that makes sense and i felt more confidence and so meeting people was much easier for me like this stone does so, so much <laughs> um it's known as like the all-seeing eye and it helps you with your physical and your spiritual lives and um, it really has like some really good grounding energy. So that's where it helps you with like, if you're having like emotional instability, you wanna be, you know, wearing this. Also, it's known to attract wealth and like to manifest any type of change in your life. Um, I mean, it's just, it's really, really great. So willpower, emotional strength, physical strength, um, hormone balance, and it helps you with uh, fertility and your stomach. Um, I'm definitely in the search for another tiger's eye bracelet because I used to wear one every single day and oh my gosh, they're just, they're, they're amazing. I highly recommend, um, you don't have to just use it on your sacral chakra or on your solar plexus to balance you out. You can wear it every single day, maybe take a tumble stone, put it in your pocket, put it in your bra, whatever, but they're great. So we talked a little bit about stones. Um, there are some other things you can do to help raise the vibration in your sacral chakra and also balance it out. Um, one of my favorites involves water because you know the sacral chakra, the element is water. So anything with water is going to be just helpful in you regenerating yourself and um, I guess just building up energy and cleansing. Um, so my favorite is a yoni steam. This not only is going up into your reproductive organs and into your womb, your, your sacral chakra area, but it will also help you with just like balancing out if you have heavy, heavy periods, which I do. This helps me like cut back on a couple of days where my period usually would be like seven days. Like I could get it down to like five or four. Um, it'll help you if you usually have like lots of blood clots, you'll have like, you know, a lighter period. Um, like there's so many physical results that you get from doing yoni steams. Um, I'll have in the description box all of the herbs that I bought. Um, you can just buy a yoni steam blend like already made, but for me since I do so many, I just buy everything like just a whole big bag of all the herbs that I need and then like it lasts me like the whole year. So I don't have to keep on like buying different blends, but for yoni steams it's great to just basically portion out like a third of a cup or maybe a quarter of a cup of whatever herbs you're using and that's all together so if you're using six or seven different herbs all together it should be about a third or a quarter of a cup and um yeah boil it in some water on the stove and then you can kneel or squat over the um the bowl or pot i use a pot um or you can order one of like the yoni steam stools i bought one um it wasn't too expensive but they do have ones made out of like cedar or oak or wood so if you want to invest and get a nice one um but it's just nice just like uh, wrap either a blanket around you or just wear something that will help keep in the steam and do it for like 30 minutes to 40 minutes it feels great it is relaxing it raises your vibration all over most importantly like it just balances out that sacral chakra and like i said this is very important for 
um, receiving love, for giving love, for manifesting, for attracting people. Um, you know, it's just, it does so much. Like, <laughs> it's really, really important. So yeah, I forgot to add that because like in the other video, I, um, I told you guys about the Kegel exercises and how strengthening that lower stomach um, and that pelvic floor will help you um, balance out your sacral chakra and make it stronger. But yeah, um, the yoni steams are great too. And so one a week is great to do, or you can do, sometimes I'll do two a week, um, just whenever you can find the time, but they're just so very, very helpful.